Okay, hello Sagittarians. How are you doing? I'm back. I'm back, you guys, with your reading. Um, we're gonna see what's going on in your energy. Um, I haven't been on in a while because I'm working now, so you know you may not see me like you used to see me. You know, I'm back in the work world now. All right, so um, like, share. Hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. New viewers, subscribe. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. You guys sit back, enjoy this reading. Okay. Um, what I was hearing for you guys is $99. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. 99 bottles of beer. You take one down, you pass it around. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Something like that. That's what I heard. So... Either you guys are testing the waters with different options. You ha you're having a lot of tension right now. So you're just testing the waters. Um, nothing is satisfying you that you have tried, that you have tested. It's not satisfying you. You're looking for something exciting. Um, maybe the, the person's, um, the options that you're testing out, they're boring to you. Or this is somebody in your energy that you're dealing with. You're dealing with a lot of other options. And there are 99, of, 99 bottles of beer on the wall. 99 bottles of beer. They're just going through them like, like it's nothing. You know, maybe they get bored easy. So they're going through a lot of options. They're dealing with a lot of people. Okay. So it can go by both ways. It could be some of you guys that are doing this. You, you know, people are boring you that you're dealing with, that you're testing the waters with. You just can't find the right person right now, you know? They're not exciting you like you want them to excite you. Or this is somebody in your energy, some of you guys' energies that you're dealing with that's doing this to you guys. They're behind your back, dipping and dabbing, trying to find some excitement, okay? Trying different options. Or somebody that you have your eye on, they're doing this. They're looking for somebody that's exciting. And they may get bored very, very easy, okay? And they're like $99. Um, I want to say dollars. 99 They're like 99 bottles of beer on the wall. They're dipping and dabbing every bottle they, they can grab. And they just pass it on. Pass it around. Do away with it when they're finished because they can't keep their their um excitement up okay or either this is you guys um doing this all right so however it resonates with you guys you choose which side y'all on all right let's get some cards to drop sagittarius's energy sagittarius's energy i'm just hearing yeah, this person's going through a lot of people. Okay, so we have the page of coins. Um, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have the full car, Aries energy. We have the world here. We have the five of spears here. Fire, Sagittarius, Aries. We have the Eight of Coins here, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, the Knight of Coins, Virgo energy, and then we have the Hierophant here, Taurus energy. So, okay, somebody is looking for a new beginning of growth. Somebody's wanting a new beginning of growth, and they're, they're taking a risk. They're taking risks, okay? This person is taking a risk. This is somebody, um, they could be, it could be somebody you're dealing with. This person may be coming around, leaping. Um, they could be leaping away from you, taking risks somewhere else. The world card. So this person may be coming around, ending a cycle with you, so they can have a new beginning somewhere else. Um, there could be confusion here. This person is confused, you know, on what to do. Um, which way to go in the situation, um, on how to end things with you. But they're looking for a new beginning of growth. They're taking all kinds of risks, okay, elsewhere. So they're confused on how to end the, end the situation with you so they can embark on a new beginning somewhere else. Um, Eight of Coins is here. 
you're gonna you're gonna be okay. You're gonna rebuild your stability. Um, you may have to work hard towards rebuilding your stability when this cycle ends with this person. All right. Um, there's an offer gonna come in to you. It may take a while for this offer to come in. But it will come in to you concerning your stability. You're going to get an offer that comes in to you. Um, but while you're rebuilding your stability, you need to plan. You need to strategize on, you know, which way to go concerning rebuilding your stability. You know, you you, you know, you got to commit to it. Put in the work. But there's an offer that is going to come in to you that's going to give you the stability that you're looking for and that you need. Um, the hair fawn is here. Uh, there's something that could be coming into you, like something's going to be exposed to you, or this situation is going to cause you to grow spiritually. You're going to go into a spiritual spurt, a spiritual growth, okay? Due to this situation where this person ends a cycle with you, but you're going to be okay. You're going to, you know, you're going to have a new beginning. You just have to be committed, work hard towards rebuilding. And an offer is going to come in. Um, it could be a Virgo that comes in to you, or this is an offer, a job offer or something that's going to give you the stability that you need. Um, and this offer could be something doing, dealing with the public, a teacher. Um, it could be something governmental. Could be um you could be a speaker a public speaker this offer could come in wanting somebody could want you to um be some sort of public speaker or you know somebody could see you as a good communicator and knowing how to speak well and that's the avenue that you're gonna go in concerning this offer this is what this offer is gonna come to you somebody sees you as being able to communicate very well yeah because this person they're looking at either it's an earth sign that, that, that you're dealing with, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that's embarking on this new beginning of growth, or they're looking into having a new beginning of growth with a, a earth sign. All right? They're taking a risk with this person, or they're about to, and they're going to end the cycle with you so they can have this new beginning with this earth sign. <clears throat> Um, Sagittarius is energy. Two of Spears, yeah. Yeah, but you're going to have a choice. This offer that's coming in to you, it's more than one. You're going to have to make a choice Um, which one to choose. So you got more than one offer coming in to you. It's going to take a while for it to come in, but it's coming. And you're going to have a choice which way to go, which one to pick. All right. And it may allot you to have to um, move at a distance. Are you going to make a choice? Yeah. Or if you're living with this person, maybe you guys own something together and you're going to have to make a choice on whether to stay or move or they stay or move out. Something of that nature. Maybe you're married to this person that's doing this to you. Um, the King of Swords is here. Libra energy here. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to be strong. Stand your ground. Stand your ground in this situation. Maybe you're going to have to fight for what you want. You know? Fight for what you want. If you want to stay, fight for it. You know? If you want to keep... If it's property involved, if you want to keep the property, you're going to have to fight for it. Um, Will of Fortune, the will is going to be in your favor. The will is going to go in your favor in this situation where you're going to have to fight for something that you want. So maybe it's something you're going to want and you're going to have to fight for it. But the will is going to turn in your favor, okay? This karma situation is going to turn out in your favor. Things are going to go in your favor in this situation. You're going to get the victory. All right. King of Swords. Um, some truth is going to be spoken and the will is going to, some kind of truth is going to come out. 
Okay, maybe something that was hidden is going to come out and it's going to cause the will to turn in your favor. It's going to be a karma situation, but it's going to it's going to work in your favor. Everything's going to work in your favor. Um Sagittarius's energy. Um, the five of coins is here. Yeah, a situation is going to work in your favor. Somebody's going to have to give you stability. Somebody's going to have to pay you stability. Where a situation where you may have felt like you was going to be in a struggle, in a bind, stability-wise. No, you're not. This person's going to have to give you stability. Will's going to turn in your favor in this situation where you're not going to be in a struggle. Or this person maybe thought you were going to be in a struggle, that they were going to put you in a struggle. No, you're not going to be in a struggle. You're going to be okay. Or this, this person's going to be in a struggle. The wheel's going to turn in your favor and they're going to be needing money. They're going to be maybe come to you asking you for help financially because um, they put themselves in a bind out there taking risks with other people, trying to have a new beginning grow somewhere else, and they're going to go broke. They're going to be in a financial struggle and they're going to be coming to you needing help. Five of Cups is here. This person's going to be embarrassed. Very embarrassed, shame. Um, they're going to, um, feel guilty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, this person's going to be riddled with guilt for, um, for taking a risk, ending a cycle with you, you know? You may turn your back on this person, or you might should. They turn their back on you, or they're just feeling guilty because they turned their back on you and took a risk somewhere else and it didn't work out. Yeah. Okay. Um Sagittarius's energy. Sagittarius's energy. Yeah, this person lost out. Maybe the person that they left you for, this person gonna leave them. They don't have no more cups. They're probably shamed because the person that they left you for could have turned their back on him. Um, Eight of Spirits is here. Okay, there's some communication going to come in very soon from this person. All right. Um, so this could have already happened. Um, or this is just you being abundant. You know, after this person left you, ended a cycle with you, they left you in abundance. You move forward very quick in this situation where they're in a struggle financially. They're, they're feeling guilt, shame. Um, the person that they were dealing with could have left them. Things could have ended with that person. Um, three of swords. This person could have put them, put them in a third party situation. Or this is you. You're, you're abundant. You're moving forward. You know, yeah, it broke your heart. But you're moving forward, you know, through a situation where this person put you in a third party. Okay, and they could be heartbroken. They got their heart broke by somebody. The person that they left you for broke their heart. Could have put them in a third party. Um, This person, um, yeah, you move forward. You separated yourself. Maybe you separated, you know, you... You could have moved on. Maybe you left things to this person. Or this is this person no longer wanting to be separated from you after causing you heartbreak and pain. Nine of Swords, they're stuck on you and can't move forward without you. They stay up at night worrying, feeling guilty, crying over you. You know? Sagittarius' energy. Eight of Cups, yeah. They're feeling a lot of guilt, shame for walking away from you. Yeah, and they, they're worrying about it. They're up at night, crying, worrying. That they're not going to get you back. They no, Yeah, because they no longer want to be separated from you, the hermit. You need to use your intuition when this person comes in. Use your intuition. Be wise, you know. 
Yeah, they could see you. You could have went through a spiritual growth, like I said. You got spiritual insight. You got a spiritual growth. Um, your t intuition is very strong. You know, you grew a lot of wisdom from this person walking away from you in this situation. You've grown a lot of wisdom. This person can't can't um get over on you. They, you know, you see them for who they really are. They trying to come back. They could be trying to come back to you, but you see them for who you really, really are. You have spiritual growth. You can see right through this person. You can see what their true intentions are. If they do come back to you, if they are trying to come back to you, you're going to see their true intentions. Okay. The divine has you in this situation. You know, the, the divine is going to show you everything you need to see concerning this person. So you will not let this person back in your good gracious. Death card is here. Yeah. Things have ended. You're you're on a spiritual journey, you know, a rebirth. You're you're moving forward on a new beginning. This person probably can't even get back in your good graces. Yeah, you're not the same person that you used to be when they were with you. You have grown through this situation where they put you through a lot of heartache and pain. You know, they, they broke your heart when they put you in this third party. Yeah, now they feeling shame, guilt, can't sleep. Yeah, because they walked away from somebody spiritual. Um, the King of Spears is here. Yeah, you're gonna have a new beginning, um, uh, a rebirth. All right, you you're gonna be very energy satisfied. It could be a, a fire sign, a Aries energy, or it's another Sag or a Leo. You know, but you're going to be very innerly satisfied. You're going to be very confident mentally, physically, you know. So it's like you're going to nurture yourself back to the health, you know, to good spirits. Yeah, rebirth, where you're going to nurture yourself back in good spirits. Where you're feeling very confident about yourself. You're going to be innerly satisfied in whatever you do. Sagittarius's energy, please. Yeah, this could be you. Or there's a, another fire sign going to come in and energy satisfy you. The star. Yeah, you're going to heal. Okay? So this could be you healing yourself innerly. And you're going to move forward successfully. And whatever it is you're working on, you're going to be in the spotlight, very popular. You know, a lot of people are going to be loving you. You're going to be getting a lot of attention. And if you have a business that you're working on, it's going to be very successful. You're just going to be the star. People are going to be seeing you as a star. This person that lets you go is going to be seeing you as a star. The chariot, they're going to watch you moving forward very fast in a success. Chariot energy. Okay, you're going to be doing a lot of traveling. Whoever this is, so this could be some public speaking you will be doing where it's going to allow you to travel. You're going to be traveling a lot. Um, you're just going to move forward fast. The moon car is here. Yeah. Um, secrets is here. Deception is here. Yeah, you're going to move forward in a situation where, you know, you were deceived in, you know. Um, or this is telling you to use your intuition, continue to follow your intuition, follow the divine, um, allow the divine to guide you in these situations, you know, so you will see anything coming that is, is a deceiver. Um, so you won't go the wrong way. So you won't make the wrong choice choices. Use your intuition. Continue to let it guide you because you're very intuitive. All these cards here. Um, two of Cups is here. Be committed, you know, to whatever it is you're doing. Be committed to the divine. You know, be committed to being spiritual. You know, don't lose sight of your spirituality. Don't don't allow nothing else to come in and, and cause you to lose sight of your um, spirituality. Be committed. This is the divine guiding you. And they want you to be committed fully to them so they can continue you on your journey of success.
Um, the four of coins is here. Oh Lord. Value you, value yourself, value who you are. Um, be committed spiritually, continue to be committed to the divine spiritually. You know, um, so they could bring out the value in you, you know, um, help you grow concerning um, your values. Um, people are going to see you. Um, people are going to see you in a light where they value who you are, value what you say. You know, yeah, you. it's important that you stay very close to the divine because whatever it is you're going to be doing, um, you're going to really need the divine to um, work through you in this situation, especially if it's speaking. Yes, the divine is going to be working through you. You need to stay very close to the divine, very um, spiritually filled on this journey where you're going to be speaking and people are going to value what you say they're going to take it to great value they're going to they're going to listen to what you say and they're going to do it you know it's important that you stay very committed and very close to the divine because this is a gift you have a gift all right this is a gift that's been given to you to be able to speak communicate to people to help people um, maybe mental counseling. Somebody may be doing some mental counseling or you're going to help people mentally, you know, move forward in situations. Um, four spears. Um, this is, again, this is a gift. Um, this is something great coming into you. Um, you're going to be able to move mountains. Uh, you're going to soar in this. Four spears. Um, some of you, this is a, you're moving up. You're moving up. You're you're moving in a higher level. Okay, promotions here. This is a higher level for you. You're gonna move to different levels in this. Um, three of coins. There's even a partnership here. Okay, so this is somebody you're gonna be working with on on this um journey. All right, some of you. This could be somebody that um. Could be coming in to you wanting a commitment um, that really values you as a person. Um, this person's coming in want marriage and they want to work on a partnership with you. This is somebody you're going to be working on a partnership with. Somebody could be going to be a preacher. This could be somebody you're going to be a preacher. You're going to be preaching. You're going to, or the person that's coming in to you, they're going to be a preacher and you're going to be working beside this person. Um, it's going to be a lot of public speaking where people value what you say. Um, what they hear that comes from you and you need to stay close to the divine so it's either one of those situations for somebody that could be two situations in there somebody coming in for somebody who is very spiritual who is a preacher somebody could maybe get ready to be married to a preacher or you're going to be on that journey where you're a public speaker a preacher evangelist of something something that is important you're going to be doing uplifting people okay all right so this is what I have for Sagittarius energy, all right? After a, a situation where somebody ends the cycle with you, you just have much growth and success, all right? You're going to go on different levels, um, but it's going to be a spiritual journey for you, a spiritual growth for you, where it's going to bring you much success, all right? All right, and it's, it's partnerships here. So um, like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video, new viewers, subscribe. I love to have you as a subscriber. Um, good luck on this journey. Keep your head up. I love you guys. And again, you will see more readings from me, but not as often as I do them because, I, again, I'm working. All right. I love you guys. Be good. I hope you um, gain some insight from the readings.